Hello, everyone, meteorologist Hunter Benstock here with your Friday evening one minute forecast. We're going to start this off with our satellite and radar. Those rain showers are becoming a little bit more widespread in the central portions of the state this evening. Out towards the east, we see those thunderstorms making their way over towards the Devil's Lake, Jamestown area, starting to calm down towards the west as we continue to cool. We continue to see these storms calm down. Right now, we're looking at those 50s out towards the more western portions of the state, getting into the 60s, the more central portions of the state, and those 70s still barely hanging on in southeastern portions of the state. Lows tonight, we're going to see those 40s and 50s quite widespread, so it's going to be a chillier night ahead of us, and it's going to be just as cold tomorrow morning, or sun, Saturday morning into Sunday morning as well. Looking at our wind speed and direction right now, anywhere from those single digits into those low 20s for the majority of the state seeing those sustained winds, but we are seeing sustained winds in those upper 20s in the southwest corner of North Dakota. And with that, we are seeing gusts as well. So those gusts can be anywhere from the upper teens into the upper 30s, even some 40s. So we see 44 in Hedinger right there, 35 for Dickinson, and 32 for Beach. So some strong winds do exist out there. Wind gust forecast for the next day or so. We're going to see those winds tonight persist pretty much until tomorrow afternoon. Then we'll get a brief break from the winds, but then the winds will return on Sunday. If we're looking at a precision cast here right now, we're going to see those rain showers in the central portion of the state move off towards the east overnight. Going to see some residual rain showers in the central portion of the state as we get into Saturday morning. But by Saturday evening, things should clear out, and then we'll see them stay clear all the way through Sunday. Make sure you tune in to KX News at 9 because I'm going to go over just how stormy it's going to be on Monday in my full forecast.